Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Joni Young. If you're new here, thanks for joining. Today I'm going to be showing you how I painted this floral landscape slash fantasy uh, on a black primed canvas. I believe this is 11 by 14. So I think I'm going to begin with a large brush here and I can start blending some paint around. Now here are a few of my color choices so far that I've picked. Titanium white, phthalo blue, turquoise, neon red, and neon yellow. So I think what I want to do first is take this phthalo blue with this really big brush and I'm just going to start applying it to the black canvas. Now obviously we can't see it yet, it's not showing up just yet. But that's the fun part. It's the exciting part of working on a black canvas. Now I'm taking turquoise and it's mixed in to that phthalo blue. Isn't that pretty? And I think I'll take just a little bit more now and I'll add it right along here. Now I'm going to switch brushes. I'm going to go over to a soft mop brush and I'm going to start softly swirling in here. Come in from this side. This looks kind of neat already. All right, set these brushes aside for now. And I think I will take a little bit of white and a little bit of neon yellow. And I'm gonna add it right here and just twist around with this little mop brush. Just like that. Oh, it looks like a moon. That's cool. I was actually going to be painting in my mind. I was thinking of adding a sun right there, but I think I'm going to leave it like that. I like that. Um, and then maybe I'll add some clouds. So I'm going to take turquoise, yellow, white mixture. And maybe I'll start by making some little scoops like this. And then as we get further out, we'll make some larger ones. Wash all that paint on my brush. Have a nice clean brush here to work with. Very lightly blending little circles Let's make a little bit more of that pretty color do smaller little scoops and wiggles. Take a little bit of my blue mixture over here. I'm going to wash my brush out, 
dry it off. And just for the fun of it, I'm going to pull and flick. Whoops. Got a few more little bits of highlights in here with that yellow, turquoise, and white mixture. And maybe we'll add some little curvy designs over here. I think it might look kind of nice to do a little halo or glow around the moon. So I'm just taking my small filbert brush here, it's a number four. A little bit of yellow and white, turquoise. hair there. So my brush, brush is pretty dry. That's how we can get that nice soft little glow around there. some little peaks or some little clouds. Over yellow mixture. Make these ones a little bit brighter.
back to my little flat brush. And just pull the flick out. Get a little bit on the tip of my brush to work with. I'll just wiggle around in here to make some brighter bits. a little bit, little bit of my blue that's left here. I'm going to go right inside next to this bright part and in between this other one. And soften. It's all about creating those soft layers. Let's take some of our turquoise, yellow, and blue. Let's start to bring this one up. I'm going to switch over to uh, number six. number six, no, number nine actually, fan brush. And pull into my turquoise here, go both sides. I'm getting a little bit of water on my brush too, just because my paint is drying quite quickly. It's a hot summer day today in July. Okay, where am I seeing some waterfalls? Maybe down here, I'm gonna line my brush up, pull and drop, pull and drop. Picking up a little bit of yellow and white now. I'm 
It's kind of fun and dreamy, isn't it? I think I need to squeeze out some more of my phthalo blue. It's going to take a little bit. Mix it with those other colors. And then lightly go side to side. Lighten this up a little bit now. A little bit brighter right here in the middle. And then just a little bit more. And that might dry a little bit darker. If so, then we can add some more after. I'm going to wash my brush off, pull into that blue, and I'm going to line my brush up right about here, and I'm going to start pulling and flicking up. Ooh, got a little little grassy area right over here and maybe one right on this side too that's going to go up here we can have a little tree there so we'll pull up with our blue again I'm going to switch over to a zero size zero and brush and load my brush up really well and start tapping in for some trees little branches here this is kind of our instant forest back here They're going to be pretty dark until we add some of this turquoise in and then we can just start coming in right next to it. We can light this one up a little bit. I'll grab some more turquoise now. Load my brush up really well. Oh yeah, that's good shade. It's brighter than this one, so it goes dark to lightest. Maybe I'll do one more here. We'll pick up some yellow and some white this time. Load our brushes up. Oops. And maybe we'll add one. Oops. Right in here. Just using the corner of my brush for those ones on the top. And then while I have this color on here, do another little highlight. And one right there. Let's 
Let's add a little bit of this blue in here. Blue turquoise color and then soften with our finger. Okay, now I'm going to take my little liner brush here and I want to add these little little bridges, tiny little ones here to the rest of these clouds. And just soften. Take a little bit more of my yellow and white. Just needs a little bit more in here. There we go. Got a few little, few little highlights here. A little bit of yellow and white. So I think right about in this area, to flatten this out a little bit. I'm going to add a few little bushes there around the edges. And let's see, I think I'll use my little filbert brush. I'll take some blue, some turquoise. And maybe bit right in here and then I'm just going to flick up a little bit just to add some blue to the base of these falls. So when we can come over and add some more color we can layer in here. It's really fun to do that. I think I want to take, to find my small, little tiny fan brush here. I've got lots of fan brushes. You can never have too many. I'm going to water it down a bit. And I'm going to go right in here and drop. Slide back and forth. And then I'm go right back to my filbert brush. It's clean. Take some highlight colors. Bring it just around like this. Back over to this one and pull and drop. And then I think, what else could we do? Maybe a few little bushes in here. How about a little bit of turquoise and blue? Let's see if that stands out. Oh yeah, that's pretty. It's just softening it up a little bit. A little bit like that. Just 
tree here on the side. Let's add a little bit of foliage to that one. Again, that phthalo blue and the turquoise. And then let's add some branches. So I'm going to take a whole lot of water on my liner brush, swirl it around in what's left of my phthalo blue. And I'm going to go pull up, leave a space so it looks like the branches are behind and some are in front. And we can have some that are hanging over here in front of the waterfall, setting those waterfalls back further. Back over to my fan brush. Add some moss and tapping, squishing it like this, and then flicking. And I think I want to have a little highlight here on the edge. So let's take a bit of our turquoise. We can have some highlights on our little branches. I don't know, what else does this painting need? What if we have a little... Let you guys guess what I'm painting here. You guys guess? I bet you know. I think this would be a really beautiful spot for a little cottage or cabin. And let's add some light inside of this. Bring up the roof a little bit taller first. And down the other side. Maybe there's a little poof of smoke in there. Dab, dab. Dab. And three windows there, one in the front, and maybe we'll have one up here in the attic. And we've got a bit of blue left here and some turquoise. And I wonder if I come around here, this will show up, but I can make it look like. There's little lines. Oh, we need a little, a little shadow on one side of the chimney. Like that. A little bit brighter in the windows. And 
going to take another little mop brush here and let's let's tap in some little bushes and now it looks like the light is kind of reflecting down on those little bushes there and I'm just going to do a little bit of a brighter little bit little dabs Just with a little brush. Just pull and flick down. I still want a little bit more separation there. So this time I think I'll be able to achieve that. See all the sections there that it's kind of just done naturally by getting it wet. There. White. Take a little bit of my turquoise, yellow, and white. Some highlights here. And I want something up here, but I'm really not sure what I want to do. I know I need to add a little bit of more smoke coming out of the chimney, so I'm just going to use my little liner brush, dab and wiggle. I want the smoke to be smaller here and then get bigger out here. I'm just going to add a line that goes across. There we go. And maybe we can add some little shutters, two little lines on either side of the windows. There'll be a door somewhere in there. Oh, I think I know what I want to do. I've got my toothbrush here. I think I might want to spray some stars in there. So I got it really, really wet. I'm going to take some turquoise, yellow and white. Get some more water on here. You see how much? That's quite a bit. Yeah, that's pretty. And I like to do a tap like that to get some larger ones instantly. Now I think I'm going to call this painting almost all done. <laughs> this one little area right here that I just need to fill in. Sometimes it's the littlest things that can be the trickiest in a painting. Is drying a little bit darker too. think this is a cozy place to live and you could see yourself living here leave a comment below I think before I call this done I have a little staircase that goes right down here to the water I 
a little something like that with my filbert brush a little bit of blue a little bit of turquoise that show up a little bit better so I'm going to go over with my you can use a flat brush you can use a liner brush whatever you want I'm going to use this angle brush because it's just right here and it's handy and I'm going to do some thicker brighter lines How does it look guys? Give this video a like if you enjoyed watching it and I love to see your guys' versions. Tag me in your pictures you post on Instagram and have a wonderful day. Happy painting you guys. See you next time. Bye.